I've done it again. I've done it again. <sighs> I've signed. I've signed another number ten that we don't need. <sighs> We've also got knocked out of the cup. Um, three two by Kilmarnock, who are in the championship. It's, it's it's not looking good so far early season. Got got to be honest. I'm a little bit worried. Um, we did have a man sent off, but uh, the damage was pretty much already done by that stage. It was two all. Then they got another one, but Dejan. Bosnik, Bosniak, totally forgot his name, uh, scored a brace, which was good. We had a man sent off, they scored again. Then they had a man sent off, we couldn't come back into it. Today we're playing Feyenoord, we have scouted. Uh, they are pretty good, especially defensively. They've got a really solid defence. So, yeah, not confident. I've lost all confidence. Um, we've signed another pl two players. Uh, we didn't get that one I was talking to you about, but we did buy Florian Gibello. Um, a French 19-year-old, mainly because he's French and we've got a French player, so I thought they might get on and be bestest friends. Um, but he could play on the left as an inside forward. I just wanted somebody that gives us some versatility, basically. We could play him on the right as a winger as well because he's got very good crossing and pace and stuff. So he's all right. He's not a bad player. <clears throat> but more importantly, there's so many good loan players we could get, but we can't afford their wages. Like, we, we, can, we have to sort of search... Loan listed players, wages under 10 grand, because occasionally you'll get a big team that will say, no, we don't need any wages. But most of them are really tight. But then we signed Manuel Angel Fielto uh, from Monaco for 825 grand. A new number 10. He's, at, he's 19 years old. He's valued at 3.6 million pounds. We're paying him a lot of money in wages, 11K. But we can, we can train him to be something else. <laughs> Right, we could train him to play on the left. Okay, it's fine. it's fine. He could play as Mazella. Oh dear, I just can't. Stop. There's just so many good playmakers. They're just they're ten a penny. Um, I don't know what I'm going. He's unregistered because we didn't get him in time. But uh, yeah, so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna play with Kevin's. Now let's go with the home ground. Hartley, seventeen year old. Time to make an impact, my friend. Are you an? He's got good heading, which I really like. He's more of a Potcher. Um, so Bosniak played the advanced role. Okay. <sighs> I have I have zero confidence. We've got Cockburn and Mullen. <clears throat> I thought I'd finally found a formation that wasn't high press, that worked. And I'm starting to think it's not. They got Arcock. All right. Let's go, boys. Home leg first. Also, uh, Atkins is out because of obviously sending off. Um, so he's Nanny McVie, a little bit untested. His right back's coming in. So it's not great. Anybody want to close that dude down? No? Good. To, uh, look, oh, that's got to save it. He's got to save it. It's one minute in. We're not going to get into fucking group stages again. I'm still bitter. We should be in group stages. We should be having a nice start to the season. Not having to worry about European qualification again. <sighs> Instead, we're bloody playing Feyenoord. Yes, sir. Fucking lunge him. Miller, play it across. Fabers. Fabers. Oh, he tries to just place it into the corner. It's not a bad effort. Had a bit of time, though. Should have really hit the target, Fabers. Okay, corner ball from Oladipo. Oh, good header from Derwin. And M Miller could get on the break here. He needs to find the ball, but he's Miller, so he'll find the ball. We know he'll find the ball. Watch the ball. Here it comes. Da -ding! Straight onto his foot. Bosniak on the half volley. <sighs> okay, okay, lads. Good chances. We've shown some fighting spirit. I like it. I don't mean to be picky, Miller, but, you know, that might be a little bit deep. I'm just, I'm just, I know it got to him, but, you know, maybe a little bit. Cut the feet too deep. Right, Costa Coffee to Cock. It's Cockburn versus Cock. It's a clash of the titans. Oh, Nanny McVie. <laughs> That's his second lunge. What's the odds of him getting sent off today? Oh, sorry, she getting sent off. Miller, can he find a pass? Can he do it? Of course he can. It's what he does. Bosniak's chasing. Look at the pace of the man. Hit it on his left. Yes. Come on. 
come on. That's what I'm talking about. Great finish from Bosniak. Had to work hard for that one. Miller with the assist that doesn't count because it touched somebody's toenail and that's now not an assist. Oh, it's an assist, isn't it? Of course it is. Don't care. Right, one, one all. And we've come back into this game strong. Giving me a little bit of positivity, a bit of hope, but they still have the away goal. I'll take a 2-1. Don't want to be greedy about it. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Better. Better. Feeling good about it now. I'm feeling more hopeful rather than hopeless. Hartley's done fudge all. I believe in him. Okay. He's the he's the target man. All right? It's good ed good Edin. Just need to find the right ball for him. Let's give out a little bit of encouragement. Oh, come on. Get. Oh, oh, my word. How have we not scored? He hit the crossbar and then the defender was in the way. And again, go on, boys. They're on the ropes here. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, mass into Yarazic. Go on, Nanny McVee. Come on. Come on, Nanny. Where's the two-footed lunge? Oh, why have you gone out to him? There's a man there. Costa Coffee. Yes, good block. Oh, and Miller pounces again. Oh, this is what he does. This is what he does. Oh, it's a stunning pass. Bosniak. Fucking damn it. Every time some, they miss a one-on-one, -on -one, I just think Morrison. <laughs> Every time. Oh, he should have scored. We're doing the work, though. We're getting in the right positions. Oh, Hartley's played a little bit better the second half. Okay. Um, Shinji. Sh Shinji? I've just made him Japanese. Shinny. Do we go attacking? I think we do. I think we're good enough. Push forward, boys. I'm not allowed to speak yet. There we go. Push forward. Now I'm going to be with a throw. Gallagher. Into the middle. Shinny. Shinny takes a lovely touch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Go on, son, on his left peg. What a substitution. Pat himself on the back. Stay attacking, lads. They're, they're trying to hang on. They're thinking they got the away goal. They just need to hang on. Oh, what a touch and what a finish from Shinny. Get in there, son. We're going for the third. Oh, third would be. I know two ones great. I am being greedy now. But we've been the much better team. They scored that goal and then they just seemed to shut up shot. Bosniak's through. Can he just cut it back? Cut it back. Oh, is he still... Oh. This could have been four. Should have been 4-1 four, four, this game. Can we nick one right at the death? Oh, the mighty cock rose like a salmon, like a giant the election. There it is. A 2-1 victory. We'll take that. But the, more importantly, the performance was sensational. Four clear-cut chances. Couple of goals. And my assistant says we shouldn't bother saying anything. Okay, there's hope for us yet. It's going to get horribly stolen away. But there's hope right now. On to the second game then. Okay, couple of bits of good news. We didn't lose in the league, which is nice. We drew one all with Dundee. Solid result. Uh, they had a man sent off late. But Alan Hartley, the young 17-year-old, getting his first goal for the club ever. Oh, no, no, he scored. He scored before. He's, he's used to it. Um, <clears throat> but massive news. I thought, got 10 million in the bank. Let's get some facility action done because, you know, that's hot. Um, so we are both the youth facilities and the training facilities are both being upgraded for a combined cost of about 3.4 million. I think it was. So that is really good news. At the moment, we've got adequate facilities. We've got so many good youngsters. We need to have the best facilities we can possibly do. So that's going to be completed just over a year's time. So that's very, very nice. And I've signed a new four-year deal on 5K a week, which is lovely. But let's get into the important stuff here. We dropped Fabers for a game. He's, he's not been brilliant. He's getting used to the Mazella role. Let's go with that. I really want to play two number 10s. Right? <clears throat> not not, not the time to do it, lads. Um, go on then, Fabers. 
I think he's been a little bit unlucky. He's had a couple of really good games. Like, he had a couple of big chances in that last game. So, we're going to go with it again. Gallagher's well-rested, ready to go. Um, he's lost confidence in the manager, right? <clears throat> um, unhappy the, the promise made to convince him to sign has been broken. What, I don't even remember what that was. Okay, we'll go with it. All right, come on, lads. I'm, I'm more confident. Obviously, this is away from home. They've got an away goal. The scoreline was decent, but the performance was... Br oh, they're, just, they're just copying me now. Come on now. They've got two cocks in their team. What's better than one cock? Two cocks. they got Peter Cock and Richard Cock. Are they brothers? Please be the Cock brothers. Damn it. I was hoping they were the, the Cock twins or something. All right. <clears throat> Double cockage. Right. Uh, we're huge underdogs. Let's not say that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't mind saying we're the underdogs here, and that suits us down to the ground. Let's go and cause an upset. Huge underdogs are as long as like, we're fucked here, lads. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. Let's go. I've decided um, that for the foreseeable future... Fort William will now be Monday to Saturday. So an extra video a week. Reason being is whole football, new football manager's coming out in a few months. And I don't want to have to stop this save. I want to get there as quickly as we can. I don't want to go seven days a week because I haven't got time. Plus, I like to have a days off where people can catch up if they need a lot of binge watch or whatever. But I think we can go six days a week. So expect a Saturday video. I won't be doing it with the journeyman as well because that takes a lot longer because the database is so huge and stuff. But yeah, cheeky little video. So give it a thumbs up. That's what they say in YouTube stuff, don't they? Give it, give it a like if you want to see more videos. Like that has any bearing. Right. <laughs> okay, decent start, lads. Decent start. Take a cheeky nil-nil draw. Miller. Bosniak's there. Free header. Not enough on it. Hartley has a little left foot volley. Let's get it to half time. I'll take this all day. Uh, the double cock is not good enough. I hate when they w defenders win headers and they just head it back to the opponent when they don't just they was, they're under no pressure. It's just like just leave it or step back and control it or flick it back to the goalkeeper. They just sort of head it aimlessly back the direction it came from. All right, Adkins. There's interest from Celtic for Adkins. That's a lovely touch from Miller. Beats his man. Oh, beautiful ball out. Yes, Derwin! That's an away goal! Come on, Derwin! Come on! I'm loving... I'm, I'm, I was I was nervous that I'd made a bit of a mistake with Derwin. Not, it was always hard to get a wide midfielder. They're just really hard to find. So, And he, ha he had all the attributes for it, but I was like... And then we switched away from it. But it turns out he's a very good attacking wing back because they're basically the same thing. And the added fact, he's got a goal in him more so than our other wing backs. We feel like he can finish as opposed to the other ones. It's just like, please cross it or pass it. Please don't shoot. Right. I don't think we need to change anything yet. We've got plenty of time left. That's decent. Miller nipples it down. Watch the, for the pass. Ready? Oh, that was boring for him. I was expecting some majestic 40-yarder. That's a good pass, though. Fabers play out wide. There we go. Derwin. Derwin. Lovely ball. Oh, Miller skied it. Unlike him. Lent back on it. I think he lent back on it. Mm -hmm. This is this is a performance, lads. I'm not even sure if we qualify for the Europa League if we win this. Let's not talk about that because that's going to be a kiss of death. Fabers, now's your chance. Yes, Fabers, come on! A fabulous strike from Fabers, his first goal for the club, and it's looking good. We look so much better in Europe than we do in the league. We look pretty shit in the league. We were lucky to draw that last game. 11 shots on target. How are we so good? That's it. Yeah, even then, look. Defended it like heroes, Gallagher. We know he's got a pass him as well. Adkins. 
Powers forward. What's he going to do? He launched one. <laughs> I'm assuming that wasn't the highlight. I'm, a sh I'm hoping that wasn't a shot. Right, winners. Oh, this a little bit dangerous here, boys. A little bit dangerous. Good on holds. Fires it wide. Let's just drop it a cautious and a bit of time wastage. With 20 minutes left. They need to score four, don't they? Because we're on away goals. Oh, that's glorious. Derwin's knackered. He's had a cracking game. Um, And frame for Dunk. Get rid of the yellow card. Don't need to take any risks. Give him a bit more praise. Come on, boys. Come on. Yes, Gallagher. Good defence. Hartley. To Bosniak. Waits, waits, waits. Lovely ball. Can Hartley finish it? The youngster, he's in there. Close the corners in. <laughs> oh, lovely little round the corner pass from Bosniak. And we're tearing him a new one. I know we've. I know I've got a few subs that are fair nord fans. I'm sorry, but your team just can't beat the mighty Fort William. That's just what it boils down to. You're lucky to get away with a two. We could. We could have scored a should have scored another couple of goals last time. And again, this game. This this could have been absolute slaughter. So just thank you, Lucky Stars, for just a mere four one. Right, do we qualify for it? Well, I think we qualify because the group stage draw. I think we're in it. Yes. Right. Where we belong. It doesn't it feels right. Two point Six two million just for existing in the group stage. Let's have a come on. I think we can beat a few teams this time around. I think we we've definitely improved since last time we were in Europe, and I think maybe the top seeds might smash us. But against the other two teams, unless we pull out somebody random, I think we've got a very good chance. It's great for the money as well. It's really important. Okay, here we go. I'm Man City are in it. Ajax, Atletico Madrid, Lyon, PSV, sorry, PSV, RB Leipzig. They can fuck off. Um, like these boys. Okay, maybe not Tottenham. Go Galatasaray. Moscow will be hard. Leeds, well, they scraped the result, didn't they? Okay, let's get the first teams done. Okay, Hamburg, yeah, I'll take it. Napoli, not a fan, not a fan of that one. Can't get Rangers. Sporting, tricky. Ooh, that's a nasty group. I'll go on then, I'll take a Man City. Fort William versus Man City, is there two more polar opposite teams? Ah, oh, they're playing some kids. Okay, Ajax, Lyon, PSV, Atletico Madrid, and Leeds. Okay, RP. No, no, I don't want. It's gonna be Leipzig, isn't it? I don't want that group. I don't want that group because they did dirty on us last last time out. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll take this group. Yeah, because we get Man City and then we get the. Two beatable teams. We only need to come second, right? Hearts are in there. Okay. Club Bruges. Cork City. The mighty Cork City in the Europa League group stage. Fair play to them. I'll take this group as well. And Can we... Does the UK matter? I don't think so. Right, here we go. Yeah. Not the most exciting games, but it's doable. Um, Patok. Again... Can't, I don't think we can have that that group. Don't want this group. Really don't want this group. I want this group. I'll uh, bring me Man City. Damn it, Botev Plovdiv. Okay. Oh, okay. Tricky. Copenhagen are a decent side. I don't know. There's a Azor Azoria. Okay, they don't even have a full team, but the players they've got are very good. <laughs> they just only have six of them. Okay. Just looking at values to just get a brief idea. Okay. That's trick. It's a tricky group, isn't it? 
that goalkeeper wanted by anybody big. Fuck. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not not amazing. Could be doable. How are Marseille looking? Yeah, they, they look... Yeah, their values are slightly higher than the other ones. They've got a £62 million striker. Okay. But... But I think it's doable. I think we'll be. An, I, I'd be annoyed if we don't pick up a couple of wins from this. Even if we don't go up, it gets the quad knockout. Um, do, do, do. And remember, if we win this Europa League, we're in the Champions League. Year after, is Colin Black the? It's not the dude I had, is it? No. Okay. <clears throat> right there we go, my friends. Justice has been served. Maybe Feyenoord just let us win because they knew what had happened to us. Thanks, Feyenoord. That's 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 really sweet of you. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with some Mars oh, Marseille first and Rangers games. Hopefully the league The League gets a little bit better. Cause, you know, don't want to be relegated. Not a fan. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.